Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to the status report highlight for the 2nd of May 2017 and today we're going to start things off with creative director Brian Hicks talking about vehicles and what the team are looking at improving into and throughout beta. Terrain handling and acceleration, sound effects, engines, transmission, UI, specifically the toggleable HUD that we have shown before so that third person players can see the same critical info that first person can. Feedback on vehicle damage state, aside from damaged materials and doors falling off. Think smoke from damaged engines, and engines stumble when running out of fuel. Proper destruction of vehicle when it has been destroyed, rather than the current state of the vehicle just not turning on. So with that said, it's good to see that vehicles are going to get a lot of love in the near future. Personally, I'll be looking forward to the new sound effects. What do you guys think? But for now, let's move on to lead producer, Yujin who says 0.62 patch was originally planned for delivery on Experimental Branch during the second week of April. God damn it. But due to complications and cooperation on engine milestones, it became apparent that we needed to close them sequentially. Rather than working on both at once, remember that only a small team is working on 0.62 at the moment, as almost all of us are focusing on beta 0.63 delivery. Let's move on to the 0.63 beta strike team update. As for the work with the beta strike team, Eugene lists them below, and just for clarity, one line of text at bullet point usually means it's in the hand of a single person working on the feature and handling the ownership. However, be aware that I need to simplify it to make things at least a little bit digestible, so it's hard to strike the right amount of detail without basically reworking Jira tasks to show them here. Programmers AI script implementation Zombie behavior script representation Wind rework and debugs Inventory and item conditions Item spawn definition User actions in multiplayer Exhausted and hurt player animation support. Network traffic optimization. New version check to prevent edges of connecting to a different build of a game. Lightning fixes. New lightning setup. Sound event manager. Tons of crash fixing. Tons of bug fixes. Animators. Weapon mechanics animation polishing. Unjamming reloads. Inverse kinematics poses. Mocap. Player turns and more. Hit reactions on player. Animation plugins, cow and bull refactor for the new animation system, designers, user actions in multiplayer, player representation, new item hierarchy definition, new player and item spawn definition, inventory UI refactor, lifespan, tree fire geometry, tons of bug fixes, audio, positional environment audio, and QA, playtest 0.62, door rework priority assignment, standardized door sizes, Performance profiling in 0.62, client performance benchmarks in 0.62. Eugen knows that a list is not the best way to present the progress, but might be interesting for the development folks out there. However, he would also like to make it much more representative. There are tons of things happening at the same time, and we are in the process of visualizing the sprint in the very near future, and Eugen will try to share our overview of the beta progress when things settle down. And finally for this week's status report, lead designer Peter and lead gameplay programmer Mirak talk about the complete removal internally of the old player, as well as the rework of firearm handling. And this is where things get a little bit juicy. Rewrite with firearms also allows us to introduce mechanics like changeable gun barrels. We have two more barrels for the AUG ready to experiment with, different muzzle speeds for the same ammunition type depending on the barrel length, which helps balancing firearms between each other or vice versa. Different muzzle speeds for different ammunition type used in the same firearm. Pellets versus slugs anyone? Switching between scope and sights if possible like the AK family AUG. And refinement of, and more importantly, connecting already introduced firearm mechanics like unjamming, mechanism manipulation, chambering, and others to the new animation system. And while Peter just got me excited, Merrick follows up with, Weapon system has received some new features, like changeable barrels and muzzles, and support for attached grenade launchers. Oh yeah. And that's all this week for the status report highlight for the 2nd of May, 2017. Remember, stay positive. DayZ will become the game we want it to be. It's just gonna take a little bit more time. And as always, I recommend you read the status reports in full for the most amount of information that they hold. All links will be in the description below. Leave a like if you enjoy my content, as it helps the channel a lot. And I'll see you peeps next time.